the phases of the C4 cycle. Let's talk about it quick. These four steps. Initial fixation followed by transportation. Transport basically. Final fixation and then regeneration of PEP. Oh, what is this PEP? I'll talk about it. And we are talking about the hatch and slack cycle. First, let us concentrate on the initial fixation. Yes, let's go. Initial fixation of carbon dioxide in the mesophyll cells. Well, come on, come on. You have to remember the anatomy that I had already shown you. The mesophyll cells towards the outside and bundle sheet cells towards the inside. So you understand from the through the stomata what will happen. Carbon dioxide will enter through the mesophyll cells and then finally to the bundle sheet cells, right? Now, initial fixation of carbon dioxide happens where in the mesophyll cells? Don't forget. Don't forget. Write it down. What is the first acceptor? Carbon dioxide acceptor is phosphoenol pyruvate or PEP. Phosphoenol pyruvate or PEP. Please write it down. Write this abbreviation because I am going to use it repeatedly over in the session. Carbon dioxide will combine with PEP in the presence of an enzyme that is known as the PEP case or PEP carboxylase. Right? PEP case. It's PEP carboxylase. It's an enzyme which requires Mg2+. Plus. Okay, for its function. Pepcase to form what? Oxaloacetic acid. Oxaloacetic acid. Let me show it to you. This is, remember, once more, mesophyll cells. Carbon dioxide enters into the mesophyll cells, combines with water in the presence of carbonic anhydrase, forms what? H plus plus HCO3 minus, and then with the help of the enzyme PEP carboxylase, and what happens? PEP combines. PEP. Then what happens? Oxaloacetic acid is formed. Now note the difference. PEP is a three carbon. So these round dots that you are seeing, these are basically representing the number of carbon atoms in that molecule. So three means three carbon atoms. Four is basically four carbon atoms. So that means oxaloacetic acid will have four carbon atoms. It's a compound which has four carbon atoms in it. Clear everyone? Fine. So once again, what happens over here? Here the initial step of carbon fixation is happening. First step, okay. Where does it happen? In the mesophyll cells. Who, which is the first acceptor of carbon dioxide? Please note this down. That is PEP, phosphoenol pyruvate. Which is the enzyme involved over here? In this step, it is PEP carboxylase. What is the product which is found? Oxaloacetic acid. It is a four carbon compound. Fine. Let's move on. Now what happens? Oxaloacetic acid reduced to malic acid by the enzyme malate dehydrogenase or certain, certain other thing can also happen. It can also form aspartic acid in some C4 plants. You know, some C4 plants where there is malate dehydrogenase, they will convert oxaloacetic acid into malic acid. Yes, let me show it to you. Somewhere, some other plants, C4 plants where aspartic acid is there, sorry, where this enzyme transaminase is there amination will happen basically it means addition of the amine group okay and it will form aspartic acid so once again carbon dioxide enters the mesophyll cells which is the first or primary acceptor of carbon carbon dioxide pep what is the env enzyme involved pep carboxylase pep case what is the first product c4 cycle four carbon compound oxaloacetic acid correct then what happens in the mesophyll cells yes Oxaloacetic acid is converted to malic acid or aspartic acid based on which enzyme is reacting over here, taking part in this reaction here. Fine, let's move on. So first initial fixation is done. Next, next is transport. Transport should happen. It happens through plasmodesmata. You know about it, right? It happens through plasmodesmata. It moves to the bundle sheet cells. So from mesophyll cells, right now, aspartic acid or the malic acid will move to the bundle sheet cells. Note the carbon atoms, 4 carbon, yes sir, very good. Do you remember plasmodesmata, what are they? I'll help you recall. So during the cell division chapter we have studied, right, uh, or cell chapter also. Formation during cell division when endoplasmic reticulum is incorporated into the developing cell plate. So these act as junctions, these are the places through which cell can talk to each other, okay. This creates a cytoplasmic channel connecting to plant cells, adjacent plant cells. Great. So let's move on. So step two, that is transport. What happens? Malic acid and aspartic acid gets decarboxylated. Wow. 
and deamineated respectively to release carbon dioxide and pyruvic acid is formed. Let's see. Carbon dioxide is released. Carbon dioxide is released. Decarboxylation reaction is happening. Please see here NADPH will be produced. Note that in the previous reaction when oxaloacetic acid was being transferred to or transformed into malic acid or aspartic acid, NADPH was utilized. But here, when malic acid or aspartic acid is converted into pyruvic acid, which is a change in 4 carbon to 3 carbon compound, right? You see, NADPH is produced. Here, NADPH, 1 NADPH is utilized. Here, 1 NADPH is produced. In this whole process, if I tell what is the net gain or loss of NADPH, it is 0. Yes? Very good. So now, now, what happens? This carbon dioxide is released. Carbon dioxide is released. Fine. Great. Let's move on. So, this is the third step. Now, what will happen? This carbon dioxide will enter Calvin cycle. Yes, do you remember that Rubisco is present where? In the mesophyll cells. No. It's present where? Bundle sheet cells. Yes. We talked about it, right? That's a way of protecting this Rubisco. Bundle sheet cells, they have thick walls, right? It's trying to protect the rubisco so that it does not get exposed to oxygen and be, start behaving as an oxygenase. Great. Clear all of you? So, this carbon dioxide with rubisco, in the presence of rubisco, right? What will happen? It will enter Kelvin cycle, formation of sucrose. And uh, yes, you know, this will be transported through the vascular bundle. Well, so now, can I say, the final acceptor, the final acceptor of carbon dioxide, initial acceptor was PEP. What is the final acceptor? What is the final acceptor? You can see it here, right? You can see it here. See it properly. Well, let me move to the next step. We'll understand much better. So final fixation, let's see. Let's see final fixation, what happens over here? Carbon dioxide released is fixed in the bundle sheet cells through the Calvin cycle. This is the fixation of carbon dioxide. RUBP is the secondary or the final acceptor. Of course, Kelvin cycle, come on. We have studied about it. Kelvin cycle. So first, primary acceptor is PEP. Secondary acceptor is, or the final acceptor is carbon dioxide. Of carbon dioxide is what? RUBP in the C4 plants. Correct? Great. So remember these questions are asked. It can definitely be asked. Now, let's see what happens over here. Next, you know this pyruvic acid, pyruvic acid, this is the final fixation I'm talking about. Next, what will happen is regeneration of PEP. Regeneration of PEP. PEP has to be regenerated, right? In carbon, in Kelvin cycle, we had studied, RUBP had to be regenerated in this cycle, right? Here, if I talk about C4, here the PEP will have to be regenerated. Let's see what happens. So pyruvic acid enters the mesophyll cells and here it is converted to PEP once again back to PEP from pyruvic acid and in this process what happens? Energy equivalent to two ATP molecules are used. Basically one ATP molecule broken down into ADP then AMP. So total energy is almost equivalent to two ATP molecules is used. So pyruvic acid changed to PEP with the enzyme. Note it down. Phosphopyruvate dikinase. What is the enzyme? Phosphopyruvate dikinase. Got this? Very good. Well, so this is complete. This is complete. Let me help you recall quickly. See, carbonic anhydrase in the mesophyll cells, HCO3 minus, then with the help of PEP carboxylase, right? Oxaloacetic acid, what binds? PEP. Fine, PEP. Then, oxaloacetic acid is converted to malic acid or aspartic acid based on trinsaminase or the malic dehydrogenase. This enters through the plasmodesmata into the what? Bundle sheet cells, 4 carbon. Now, what happens? Carbon dioxide is released. Here, pyruvic acid is formed, 1 carbon loss. It's not loss actually. Here, this carbon dioxide will be fixed through the Kelvin cycle by the enzyme Rubisco, which is present in the bundle sheet cells. Next. Correct. Next, what will happen? Pyruvic acid will be transported back to the mesophyll cells and then converted to PEP once again. So PEP will be regenerated. This is the whole cycle. And this can again 
get back into this process. Correct? Got this point? Very good, all of you.